Uh, there seems to be no end in sight to the upward surge of the coronavirus. Some scattered shutdowns are starting to happen across the country. We know schools have been impacted. So new this morning, John Shumway went looking for answers. You know, when you see something like that, when you see the long lines in right. California, we saw them in Illinois, here at home even, you think this is really, it's not stopping, it's not slowing no, down. It's getting more serious almost on a daily basis, not almost, on a daily basis, and we are seeing what we saw back in the spring elsewhere. The medical answer is on the horizon, but it's not here yet. Dr. David Agus from the University of Southern California Keck School of Medicine and a CBS medical expert says there are three factors driving this. We've heard this before, people forced indoors by the weather is a big one. Schools are also becoming a major spreading factor and people are just tired of the restrictions. We all just said, hey, listen, I'm tired of this virus. I don't care anymore. There's no light at the end of the tunnel and I'm going to do whatever I want. And unfortunately, we're seeing the ramifications of that, which are surging numbers and significant loss of life. And what will be is many people significant issues in the lung and the heart uh, at any age. And I'm worried about that. Dr. Agus says mask mandates are needed. I believe in trying to protect every person in our community so they don't suffer the ravages of the virus, whether they're 20 year olds or they're 80 years old. And if we mandate a mask and enforce it so we give fines to people who don't, we're going to have fewer suffering from this virus. Yeah, Dr. Agus says there is hope in the treatments and the vaccine announcements we've heard over the last week. We'll talk more about that in our next half hour. But he also says we need to stay alive to get to those treatments. And he says that the mask and selective shutdowns are certainly an answer and people really have to seriously look at the school district. You know, John, we were just talking a few minutes ago about some new uh, travel recommendations from the state health department here in Pennsylvania for Ohio, New Jersey, West Virginia. We know a lot of people live in those states and commute right. into Pennsylvania, it becomes increasingly difficult to figure out the right thing to do there. Yeah, and I guess those people would be considered essential. Right. That's essential travel for them for their livelihood. Exactly. All right, John, thank you so much.